Hi, this is Dan Peterson with FreeOnlineCalculatorUse.com. In this video I will demonstrate how to use the recipe conversion calculator to convert a recipe from an original number of servings to a lesser or greater number of servings. Before I get into the demonstration I'd like to quickly point out a few resources on the page that may be helpful when converting your recipes. First, the page includes a quick reference chart for converting from one cooking measurement to another, as shown here. Second, a little further down the page you'll find two mini conversion calculators for when you need to convert from one cooking measurement to another prior to converting a recipe. And finally, anytime you want more information on what to enter into a given field, you can simply move your mouse over the question mark icons that are adjacent to each line or section. Doing this will open a balloon containing the corresponding help text. The first step to using the recipe conversion calculator is to enter the title of the recipe. The entered title will be displayed on the printed report. For my demonstration, I'll just paste in chocolate chip cookies. Next, you'll need to set a conversion factor using one of the four available options. Click on option number one if you want to convert the recipe from one number of servings to another. So if you want to convert from two to five servings, you would enter two in the first field and five in the second field. Notice that once you enter the two numbers, the calculator will calculate the conversion factor and display it on the final conversion factor line, shown here. Click on option number two if you would like to select a predefined scale to use as the conversion factor. Simply select the desired scale from the drop-down menu. So if we want to simply double the recipe, we would select double and the calculator will display it on the final conversion factor line. Click on option number three if you'll be converting from one pan or cake pan size to another. In this case you will enter the original pan size measurements and the new pan size measurements that you will be converting the recipe to. Depending on which pan shape you select, the pan's measurement fields will be enabled as they apply to the selection. For example, if you select round, you'll only be able to enter the diameter and the height of the pan as the length and width fields will be disabled. On the other hand, if you select rectangle, you'll be able to enter the length, width, and height of the pan, but not the diameter. Note that you can enter the pan dimensions in either inches or centimeters, but not both, as the calculator is not set up to convert from one to the other. Also, be sure to only enter numeric characters into the fields. So to convert from a rectangle pan that measures 11 inches long by 8 inches wide by 2 inches high, you would enter 11 into the length field, 8 into the width field, and 2 into the height field. And if we are converting to a rectangle pan that measures 18 inches long by 12 inches wide by 3 inches high, you would enter 18 into the length field, 12 into the width field, and 3 into the height field. Once you've completed the required fields for the two pan sizes, the calculator will calculate the conversion factor and display it on the final conversion factor line. Click on option number four if you'd like to enter a conversion factor manually. So if you knew the conversion factor was 3.5, you could simply enter it in this field. Once you've chosen and completed one of the conversion factor options, the next step will be to enter the recipe ingredients using one of two options. If you have the recipe stored in a text file or you found the recipe on a web page, and if the recipe is formatted like the one I've shown here, you can copy the recipe from the source code and paste it into this field. Note that you can increase the size of the text field by clicking and dragging the sizing handle. You can also clear the field for when you're ready to paste in your own recipe. For this example, I simply googled chocolate chip cookie recipe, clicked on one of the results, 
and copied the recipe to my computer's clipboard. I then returned to the page and pasted the recipe into the text field. To copy a recipe, simply place your cursor at the beginning of the recipe, then click and drag to the end of the recipe. Once highlighted, select Copy from the Edit menu, then return to this page, place your cursor in the text field, and choose Paste from the Edit menu. In order for the calculator to read the pasted recipe, the format should be whole number, space, fraction, space, unit of measurement, space, description. Similar to this line here where you have whole number, fraction, unit of measurement, and description. Also, each ingredient line must start with a numeric character. So if a line begins with a decimal point, say 0.5, be sure to add a leading zero so it reads 0 0.5. Once you've pasted the recipe and it's properly formatted, click the Load Ingredients into Form button and the calculator will attempt to load the recipe into the form for you. Note that as the calculator loads the recipe, it will attempt to determine if each ingredient would be a liquid or dry measurement and then selects the unit of measurement based on its determination. Once loaded into the form, you can then edit each ingredient as needed for example, you might consider removing or changing the one stick text on the first line since the calculator doesn't convert the description portion of the ingredient. Now if the recipe isn't in a format that would allow you to paste it into the large text field, the second option would be to either type the recipe into the field and have the calculator load it for you, or you can enter the ingredients into the form line by line. If you do type the recipe into the large field, I would recommend that you copy the completed recipe, paste it into a new text document like Notepad or TextEdit, and then save the document to your hard drive. That way, you can simply paste the recipe into the text field if you need to convert it to a different serving size in the future. To demonstrate how to enter the ingredients line by line, I will reset the calculator to clear the ingredient lines. Note that the calculator will always ask you if you're sure you want to restore the calculator to its original state. Next, I'll just choose option number 4 and enter a conversion factor as the calculator will need that before it can complete the conversion. So to enter the recipe ingredients line by line, you first enter a whole number for the quantity, if one exists, and then select a fraction, if one exists. So for the first line of the example recipe, I would skip the whole number field, since it doesn't have one, and select one half from the drop down menu. Next, you select the unit of measurement. For the first line of the example recipe, you would select cup. Note that there are dry measurements and liquid measurements. The first 10 measurements are liquid measurements, whereas the dry and weight measurements are prefixed with an identifier. Next, you enter the description for the item. So in this case, I would enter unsalted butter. Simply repeat this process for each of the recipe's ingredients. Once you have all of the ingredients entered into the form, you then scroll to the bottom of the form and click the Convert Recipe button. This will display the converted recipe below the button. If you wish to have the metric equivalents included in the recipe conversion, check this box and then click the Convert Recipe button again you'll now see a metric equivalent column added to the report. Note that for dry ingredients, the calculator will attempt to match each ingredient with its own weight factor. For instance, if flour is detected in the ingredient description, the calculator will give you the metric equivalent based on the grams per ounce of flour. On the other hand, if powdered sugar or confectioner sugar is detected, the calculator will give you the metric equivalent based on the grams per ounce of powdered sugar.
and so on. Finally, if you'd like to include any recipe instructions on the printed report, you could enter them into the instruction field here. If you copied the recipe from a web page, you can copy the instructions and paste them into the description field and then edit them to suit your taste. I'll just paste in an example so you can see it in the printable report. Once you're satisfied with the conversion, you can then click the Printer Friendly Report button. This will open up a new window with your converted recipe along with the original recipe. To print the report, either click File, Print on your computer, or you can click the Print button at the bottom of the report. This should open your printer dialog for printing. Note that if your printer software has a Print to PDF feature, you can print the conversion to a PDF file that you can attach to emails. When you're done printing, simply close the window. If you would like to be able to save your entered recipes so that you can simply convert them later without having to re-enter them, click this link to discover the benefits you receive by subscribing to the ad-free member version of my website. If you received some value from using the calculator, I would greatly appreciate it if you could return the favor by giving the calculator a like, share, tweet, plus one, or a pin. If you didn't receive any value from this calculator and or you have a suggestion for improving it, please click the Show Calculator Feedback button to expand the feedback form and let me know. With that, I sincerely thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Happy recipe converting!